I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of sensors and transducers. In this session, I am going to discuss what do we mean by dual slope integration ADC technique. There are different type of ADC techniques which I already discussed in my previous session. To get to know the previous session, it's available, link is available in the description box and i button, kindly visit once. Thank you. Let us straight away move on to the discussion on dual slope integration analog to digital conversion. I would like to explain analog to digital conversion technique using dual slope integration technique with the help of a simple block diagram. As you can able to see, it is a simple schematic diagram which is concerning for ADC technique. So we have analog input. It is very clear that we are having the analog input. So it will be in the form of like waveforms, analog waveforms, analog input. And also we are having a reference input. Okay, standard, standard input or uh, reference input, standard input. Let me write it as a standard input. Remember that if analog input is having polar, uh, positive polarity, okay, positive value, for example, plus five, five volt, the reference must be opposite, minus five volt, like that. One of the example I would like to tell you. In the sense, analog input and reference input will be opposite each other in case of polarity. Polarity wise, the analog input and the reference input are opposite each other. Okay, and it is both analog input and the reference input is connected through the particular switch. Okay, one uh, change over type switch is available. Okay, so using that you can connect uh, the analog input and the reference input. There is a current limiting resistor which is available here. Resistor is available. Okay, now uh, analog input and reference input that will be connected through an integrator. For example, it is LM741. LM741, uh, one of the operational op amp IC, one of the linear integrated IC. All right. So it will act as an integrator. Suppose if the value, if the, uh, you, you, here you are able to uh, provide the voltage, let us say this is a voltage, then what could be the output? The output is nothing but integral of uh, input into with respect to time. This is your output. I think it's clear to everyone. So V0 is nothing but integral of V into dt. Integration that will be taken place with respect to time, right? Now, what you are going to do is the output of integrator that is going to pass through a comparator. You can use op amp operational amplifier, same IC, you can use it as a comparator. All right. Now, the comparator output that will be given to the logic circuit. There is a logic circuit which is made up of it, uh, gates, logic gates. There is a logic control. Uh, which is provided with the, the timing is generated with the help of a clock with a certain frequency. Correct. Now, what is going to happen? Whatever the output you are getting from the comparator, uh, with respect to the clock, you are going to convert into a counter. The pattern will be connected to the counter. The so counter starts like uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, like that is going to start. That means it is basically a digital output. Digital output. So, output of a counter that will be definitely in the form of a digital pulse you are able to get. All right. So what is the input? Input will be the analog input. What would be the output? The digital input. Once the counting is completed, uh, there is a reset button is available. Automatically, things will be resetted and it will be back to the logic circuit and the process will be repeated as in this fashion. So this type of method is known as dual slope integration analog to digital conversion. The, uh, the, there are a lot of advantages like uh, the noise will be rejected completely or uh, also uh, the operation will be precise, precise operation. Uh, the accuracy of this operation is very high compared to other type of method. But the main drawback is the process takes a lot of time to convert analog value to digital value. That is the major setback of this uh, dual slope integration AD converter or dual ramp converter. For your betterment, what I have done is I made a uh, separate slide for you people. You can uh, watch the video first. Parallel, you can compare and you can uh, note down for your exam point of view. This will be really help you out. Uh, I, I would like to make a separate link for sharing the notes. I'm making it ready. So once it is done, I will let you know. I'll be putting up in the comment box of this particular video itself. So thank, thank you for listening me patiently. 
if you are having any questions please put up in the comment box i am very happy to answer uh, happy learning have a nice day do take care thanks again